armed gangs launched fresh attacks on parts of Haiti's capital Port-au-Prince ahead of the installation of a transitional council set to usher in a new government, local media said on Sunday, reporting arson and heavy gunfire in the city center. Loud blasts were heard as far as the neighborhood's city hall, as well as automatic gunfire near the National Palace. Two voice recordings circulated on social media which users attributed to gang leader Jimmy, Barbecue. Cherizier apparently ordering his soldiers to burn houses down in Lower Delmas, an impoverished part of the capital where he grew up. Reuters was unable to verify the recording, but a resident from the area told Reuters she had seen houses on fire. The State University of Haiti's medical facility was also looted by gangs overnight. This comes as the country prepares for the installation of a nine-member council to take over from Prime Minister Ariel Henry who pledged to step down on March 11th while stranded outside the country and under pressure from the United States. Haiti's gangs, many of which have grouped together under an alliance known as Vivanson, have said their siege on the capital is a battle to oust Henry, but since his announcements attacks on the capital have increased. Rights groups estimate some 90% of the capital is now under gang control. Henry had traveled abroad at the end of February to secure Kenya's leadership of a planned security support force he requested in 2022. Though Kenya offered to lead the force it ran into local legal issues prompting Henry to sign a reciprocal security deal with the East African nation. Though the United Nations ratified the force late last year, progress continued to lag. The National Palace, alongside other public buildings and key infrastructure such as the capital's airport, have come under repeated attacks over recent weeks. Meanwhile, Haiti's Civil Protection Agency warned of possible flooding over southern parts of the country, including the capital, due to heavy rains, further complicating conditions for those forced to flee their homes due to the violence. The UN estimates that over 360,000 people are internally displaced and millions are going hungry as key ports and supply routes remain blocked.